A long time ago, ice cream was invented. Walter introduced ice cream production in Mexico. He produced one ice cream and offered it to his friend Kiko. Kiko really liked it and bought it. This made Walter very excited. He decided to keep the secret and not to tell anyone about his ice creams and produced thousands of them. But there were no customers for ice cream except for Kiko. So Walter lost all the ice creams he had produced. Boo! Then Walter realized that no one is coming to buy his ice creams because nobody knows about them. So he decides to put up a stand in front of his house to promote his ice cream. Eventually, more people came. Some were very interested and bought the ice creams. But others said that they didn't like them. Why? Walter wondered. So Walter innovated and introduced new different flavors to give people more choice. Since then, more people started coming to buy ice cream and this meant that the supply and demand of ice cream was aligned and Walter's sales were growing. It's no different in Isaac. Sometimes you can see that there are so many EPs raised, but there are not enough TNs to match with. Sometimes there are plenty of TNs, but no EPs with the right background. Then both TN takers and EPs ultimately leave. This is why we need to think about supply and demand. Now we can grow by balancing supply and demand in Isaac as there is a cool new feature on myisaac.net to do it. Go to Exchange, select Supply and Demand Management and you can see the top 10 backgrounds most demanded by TNs in any committee you select. If you select one MC, you can see the top 10 backgrounds most demanded by its TN takers. And when you select the background or the number, you can see the TNs themselves. On the EP side, you can do the same. When you select top 10 supply EPs, choose the committee and the exchange type. You will see the top 10 EP backgrounds. Again, you can click on the number or background to see the details of those EPs. If you want to know more, just go to myisaac.net and check the education wiki. Hey guys, so there's an amazing new functionality on myisec.net which is called Supply and Demand Management. Now this is a concept we've been speaking about in ISEC for the longest time, but now it's actually measurable and it's on the system. So for example, if you are a VP OGX, if you go on to Supply and Demand Management on the system, it will tell you exactly the, t uh, the number of TNs that are available by region or uh, by duration and it will give you the type of backgrounds they're looking for. So next time that you go for recruitment, you know exactly the kind of EPs to recruit. If you're a VP ER, you'll know the type of EPs that are there on the system and you can create customized product packages for your TN takers. This is going to make matchability as well as balance supply and demand in ISEC.